Hello, hello, and welcome back. My name is Elisa, and typically I share a lot of yarn podcasts and fun yarn videos or different things that I'm working on. But today I decided to do another pattern roundup, and I did a similar one at the beginning of 2022, I think, where I shared free patterns that I think everybody else would enjoy and patterns that I was planning on knitting. I don't know if I knit any of those to be honest um, actually I think I knit one <laughs> but I decided to do another similar thing of spring knits however I did not restrict myself to free patterns so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of spring knits that I am hoping to cast on or just some inspiration that I think fit a really nice idea for a spring garment so with that being said, I am just gonna jump right in. I will preface this with having links down in the description for each of the projects, so that way you can go find it and possibly purchase the pattern if you are interested. I don't think I have yarn pat picked out for like any of these, which is never a good thing, but I do have a lot of information on each of the patterns. I also will link the show notes, I think is like, I guess what you can call it. Uh, down below so that way you can also see like all of the information as well. I'm just referencing all of the patterns and stuff on my Mac down here. I have this really split up into two categories. The first one is garments and the second one is socks because that's all that I'm really feeling like knitting right now. Um, and in my garment section I have some sweaters and some cardigans. The first one I have is the Boat Blouse by Twin Knits. It is a fingering weight sweater and it's held double with lace to make a really airy, super breathable fabric. I think this is like perfectly described. I love the super wide open, I'm pretty sure they're called boat necks, um, but it just, it looks so perfect for spring and I, I'm really excited about this one because I think this might be like the most likely for me to knit. Um, it's really, really pretty. And I think you can knit it obviously as the pattern is written for, held double with lace, or you could probably just knit it with a fingering and have a really similar effect. So this is a top-down construction and you will knit the panels for the front of the shoulders and the back and then you'll knit until the underarm and then you'll connect and join in the round and knit the rest of the body that way and then obviously the picking up for the sleeves. It also I thought was really cool because it has the I-cord edging for the neckline as well as the hem and cuffs. I also love the design fact that you can have either straight sleeves or you have the option to have balloon sleeves as well. And I personally think the balloon sleeves would look really cute so I might actually end up doing those. I tried to do them on a different sweater and did not get the effect that I wanted, but I probably will be able to if there's actual pattern instructions for it. And I thought this was cool because it also came in seven sizes, so it comes in extra small all the way up to 3XL. And I have seen so many really creative ideas in the test knits, like you can do stripes, you can do color blocking can have it as its own. I also think it would be really cool if you knit it just as it is and then like add embroidery details. I think this would be a perfect sweater to do that with and I just I I really like this sweater so it looks really great for spring. It's also meant to have about five to ten centimeters of positive ease so that definitely helps give it more of like an airy oversized feel. Definitely like that. The next pattern that I have is called the Lou Cardigan by Zoreen Kim. I think that's how you say her name. Um, but this is such a delicate, sweet cardigan. I really love the detailing on it. Um, in fact, you, you probably would think that it's um, a type of lace. It's so cute. I really, really like it. And it feels very dainty and delicate. It is a light fingering on Ravelry, it says. Um, it's held double, so I think it might make more of like a light sport weight, um, but it did say light fingering held double. 
but I thought it was uh, really cute because it's also a drop shoulder construction and it's worked flat top down um, and also joined at the underarm. This one also has an I-cord edge on the neck band. The button band is also worked in double knitting. This comes in five sizes, size one through five. I think this is just such a sweet cardigan. Again, I like that it's in a lighter weight fabric because I feel like that is more for spring and summer and just being able to have not such a heavy cardigan over you. I also love the buttons on the one in the picture here. I just think that those are so sweet and they look perfect. Like you could knit this in neutrals, imagine like pastels, like I could knit this in a really pretty lavender color and I think that would be perfect for spring or even just any type of pastel, honestly. I really like this one. I also think this is um, a new pattern. I haven't seen it and I think it was published in March of this year, 2023. So I haven't seen any projects yet, but um, it's always fun and exciting when you find a new pattern that like not everybody else has knit yet. So that will be kind of cool to add. I actually do have it in my queue right now. So I don't know if I'll knit both, but I think I might knit at least one. The next sweater that I have is called the Winter Wave Sweater by Nadlin Jorg Fauvel, I think. <laughs> um, this is also a fingering weight sweater. It is knit with a lace held double to make a light fingering, or actually, just kidding, it is knit with a lace held double with a light fingering so um, that's lace lace and then a light fingering and that helps you get the fingering weight for the gauge um, I thought this was a really really interesting design especially because you apparently can wear it reversible to either have the very beautiful feminine deep v-neck in the front or you can also have it in the back and have more of like a crew neck so I think that is super, super interesting. And I also love the way that it looks on um, this model here in the picture. I just, I think it looks super feminine, super beautiful. It looks like it's very light and airy and would be good for spring. Um, I know it says winter wave sweater, but to me it feels very summery. Well, not summery, but like spring or even fall. I personally don't feel like v-necks in the winter, or at least um, that deep of a v-neck, but also the fingering I think in general helps it be a little bit of a lighter fabric. This pattern also includes charts, so it is following a charted pattern, and it does come in six sizes, size extra small all the way to double XL. So I'm also not sure if it includes shaping because it's reversible, so I'll, I'll have to see if I decide to knit this how that works because I personally like garments more with shaping lately because the ones that I don't have any shaping, I tend not to wear. So I'm trying to just pick garments that have shaping lately for future things that I wear because I want to get use out of them. Overall though, really cute. I think this is great for spring. The next garment that I have is one that I think a lot of people in the community know about and it is the Anchor Cardigan by Petite Knit. I personally chose the cardigan, but really you can knit probably any of the anchor patterns and I think it feels very spring, at least the pattern to me and personally. Petite Knit also just does have a lot of really other great spring and summer knits like the Cumulus Tee, the Cumulus Blouse, I think all of those are great. Um, but I personally really like the anchor cardigan and I think this just feels like the perfect spring cardigan. And it is a circular yoke, and it's worked from the top down as well. And I think it's really cool how it makes that design of the, the yoke, how it's knit with sectioned ribbing. And then obviously the cardigan, well not obviously, but the cardigan is worked flat and then the sleeves are knit in the round. So I feel like a lot of us know quite a bit about petite knit and the patterns that she has, so I I think it's a great spring knit. The next sweater that I have is called the 
Ingrid Summer Sweater by Georgia Fibers, and this is just such a fun and like airy and delicate sweater. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I love the eyelet details. I think that is such a fun, fun part of the sweater and like really makes it what it is. And I think you can get very creative with it. Like you could do striping, color blocks. Um, obviously you can do it as is. I, I really like this, this um, sweater. It is a sport weight sweater and it's worked top down. It starts in the back and then you make the shaping for the shoulders as well and you knit them in panels in the front and back until you get to the underarm and then join and continue ribbing. It also has invisible decreases in the sleeves to give it a balloon effect, which I think is really cool. And this is so size inclusive. It comes in nine different sizes, size one through nine. How fun do those eyelids look? I think this is such a cute spring sweater. The next cardigan that I have is called the Very Very Cardigan by Tatiana uh, Ulusevis. I think that's how you say her name. Um, but this is a lace cardigan and it, is, it has lace charts for the front and back and sleeves. And I think it is absolutely stunning. I love all of the photos on Ravelry for this. Like, I just want this in all of the colors. <laughs> it is so, so pretty and it looks very feminine and intricate and I, I'm absolutely obsessed with this cardigan. So it is a DK weight and it's originally made for lace held triple, but again, you can probably knit it with like fingering in the lace and make it even more airy. I think this is just oh, so pretty. So it's meant to have about six to seven inches of positive ease and it is knit bottom up with no seams, which is always fun if you are me because you hate seaming too. <laughs> and um, you have panels in the front um, for the lace and then panels also in the back for the lace. And then the sleeve has its own panel or lace chart, sorry. You do have the option to knit it to mid height, which is standard, or you can go to um, your mid hip height or length, which is the longer length. I think I would knit it in the longer length because I just think that like makes it look even more like drapey and pretty and I, I, I really think that would be fun. It looks like it is knit bottom up for the sleeves as well as the front and back or well the, the body is knit bottom up and it looks like you join in the round um, right once you get to the arms. Yeah, you connect at the armholes and then you will knit the yoke flat. I absolutely love this. I think it is such a pretty like cabled and lacy pattern. I think this will be a really, really fun pattern to kind of explore lace with. So I definitely had to add this to the list. So that's all that I have for garments. Next patterns that I have are socks and I have really enjoyed knitting socks. So I'm very excited to share with you some of the really beautiful lace socks that I have found. And yes, they are all pretty much lace socks because that feels very spring to me. <laughs> the first one that I will share with you is called A Spring Gentleness by Vicki Morris. And this is a fingering weight sock pattern. It comes in two sizes, size eight to nine. And it is a top down cuff to toe pattern, which I personally like a lot more after experience with knitting a toe up sock. I definitely feel more comfortable with the top down. And it does have a charted pattern for this sock. I think it is so, so pretty. Like, it literally looks like lavender, in my opinion. The lace just looks like lavender and it looks beautiful. And I am planning on probably knitting these with some purple yarn that I have recently purchased, but I think it's they're so, so pretty and delicate. The next one, and these are so fun, I, I really, I don't know which sock I'll knit first, if I'll knit all of them, I might try to knit all of them, I might knit one more than once, but 
I am obsessed with these socks. Um, this pattern is Dreaming of Spring by This Handmade Life. Look how beautiful this is. Like, look at the wave details and then the lace that's breaking it up. Like, uh, how did how did people come up with these? This is so gorgeous. This is another fingering weight sock pattern and it is knit cuff down as well. Again, finding what I'm most comfortable with. Uh, it does come with charts as well as written instructions. And this is intended for Magic Loop, but you can also knit it with DPNs. You also get two sizes with this pattern, a size medium and a size large. I, again, love these. <laughs> They're so, so pretty. It does look like it has just the pretty standard slip stitch for the heel and then where you just pick up some stitches for the gusset as well. Okay, the next one that I have is the Spring Socks by Vicky Mora's. It's again, another one of her patterns. And it's also another fingering. These are so pretty. Look at those leaf details. I, like, it. if this doesn't look like blossoms to you, I don't know what else this looks like. It's so, so pretty. I love it. It does look like a pretty interesting heel construction. I haven't seen that before. Then again, I'm not super like used to other types of heels. I've literally knit the same slip stitch heel flap and heel turn and then guess it for everything. Every sock, except one, except one. But that one, I think I used German short rows or like short row shaping. This is um, also comes in two sizes, eight to nine. And it is in my opinion, I think it might be a sport weight because she knits it with a lace and a fingering, but it might just be more of like a heavy fingering then um, because it does say that it's a fingering sock yarn weight. Um, I also thought that this was really cool because it comes with video tutorials and that's always really, really nice to have, especially when you're trying new skills. And for me, lace is a very new skill. But there is the spring socks pattern for you. The last but not least pattern is the fern spring socks by Claire Borkert. And I actually am planning on casting these on. I have the yarn put aside and everything. Um, so I will for sure be knitting these. It is a light fingering pattern and it has lace charts and it also is knit toe up and they are pretty obviously shorties. I think these are so sweet and cute and they definitely, definitely look like a fern. I think it is so, so cool how like lace can make it, like you can get so many designs with lace and make it look like so many things and it's so cool to me. Like I, I'm timid and scared to try it but I really, really want to get this skill down. I think it is so, so, so pretty and cool and I, I just, I'm very excited to knit lace, especially in the spring. So there you go. That is 10 patterns for you to help you get inspired for spring knitting. And maybe you already have some of these in your queue, or maybe some of them will be added, or maybe we have very different design styles. And if that is the case, do leave below some more ideas for me to go and look and find of garments or socks or honestly anything that really feels very spring-like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and do leave a like and a comment below if you did so that way I can continue to make these videos if you do find them resourceful. Anyway, happy knitting. I hope you enjoy the weather and soon we will be in spring and it will be a very, very fun time. I hope you have a great one. Happy knitting and I will see you on the next one. Bye.